In this episode, we retouch an iPhone video using Lightroom and Lightroom only. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to episode 83 of my photography, Lightroom, and Photoshop tips. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in the city of Paris, France. I know I say that all the time, and it's annoying. I'm really sorry, but I just can't help it. All right. In last episode, I showed you how to do some HDR with a single RAW file. This is the final result. It's a pretty popular topic unless you don't like HDR. So check it out if you are into HDR. This week, I want to show you how we can use Lightroom to retouch videos. In this case, it's going to be iPhone videos, but the workflow I'm going to show you works with any type of videos. So let me show you this right now. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to this tutorial. Before we get started, a couple of quick things. First, I still have my biggest discount ever, 40% on my entire uh, shop. Uh, second thing is I have a new option called Start Here. Uh, on this option, you can just dis uh, choose whether you are like a Lightroom 5 beginner or Lightroom 5 intermediate or Lightroom 4 beginner or Lightroom 4 intermediate or Photoshop beginner or intermediate. And if you click on it, you will get uh, my recommended use of training and even a special price if you purchase them all. And last but not least, if you want to get the raw files for all the podcasts for free, just click on news and sign up and you can sign up and you will get over 70 free raw files that goes along with all my podcasts. All right, so let's go to Lightroom. I just want to show you a little trick which um, I find very handy sometime when you want to retouch some... Uh, videos this is a um, let me put some sound this is a video that I, I shot in New York for example uh, you know of just uh, motorbikers you know that was I just arrived in New York and and I shot this with my iPhone it's just like a you know sort of a snapshot video you know for memory but let's say you have some nice iPhone videos or Android videos or whatever videos you have and you want to retouch them in Lightroom well it's kind of possible. It's not what uh, the way to do it is pretty. Uh, it's like a workaround. It's not very, very, very uh, user friendly, but you will see it's pretty straightforward. Um, when you're when you're watching, a, you can only watch a video when you're in a library module. You can if you go, to, you cannot go to develop. It will say video is not supported in develop. So how do you retouch the video? Well, the way you retouch a video is as follow. Uh, you can go through your video and just take something that's uh, an important image in that video, for example, this, and you can click here and click on capture frame. What that's going to do is create a JPEG file, which will be an extract from the video. You can click on that, extra, uh, on, on that file and then you can go to the develop module and you can retouch that JPEG file. Now, and then we are going to think the retouching with the video. The only thing is that you can only use certain tools. You cannot use all the tools. You can use mainly the curve, uh, the whites and the blacks, the exposure and the contrast, but you cannot use the highlight, the shadows. You cannot use clarity. Uh, you can use vibrance and saturation. So it's a bit, yeah, you cannot add clarity to video and you cannot add um, sh uh, highlights and shadows, which is a shame, but anyways, one thing you can do though, and I love that, is you can do the split toning. Split toning is really cool. Like for example, let's say I want to give a Hollywood look to this video. Uh, you, if you follow my tutorial, you know that the Hollywood look is based upon two values, tilt in the shadows and orange in the highlights. So we go in the shadows and we're going to put tilt is between green and blue. It's something like that. Okay, and then I go into the highlights and I'm going to take some kind of orange. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay, and then if you think one is too strong, for example, I think the tilt is too strong, I can just lower the saturation. I can even balance, you know, I can even balance the orange with the blue. And uh, yeah, you can just balance, like if I go right, it's gonna put more orange, if I go left, it's gonna put more green, but there you have it, that's like uh, the Hollywood look. Now, if you want to get that Hollywood look on your video, well, it's pretty simple. You select your video and then you click on sync. And you will see that you can only, as I told you, you, go, you can change the white balance, the exposure to contrast, the white clipping, the black clipping, the tone curve, which is cool. 
uh, and then the colors and the split toning. So if I click on synchronize, uh, now I can go on on my video, but my video I cannot see it in the library module, so I have to go back to library in the develop. I have to go back to the library mode, and I can click on play, and uh, now I've, my video has got the Hollywood look, you know, this uh, like the Hollywood movies type of look. So that's kind of a, just a very neat trick. Let me give you another example. This is a, a sunset that I film with my iPhone in the plane, which is already quite a nice sunset. But I, if I want to put like you know more power to it well same thing I can just take a capture frame here it is and then I go I go to the develop module and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna play with the curve for example I'm gonna make the shadows darker maybe just to add a bit contrast the highlights a bit stronger uh, what about the lights yeah maybe the highlights you know, I like I want to make what we call a, like an S curve and maybe this a bit stronger to make it like more dramatic. Uh, let's add some vibrance to it. And then I can change totally the white balance. I can make it like totally crazy, but I'm not going to do that. I just want to add a little bit uh, of magenta like that. OK, and uh, yeah, that's about it. But now I can just take that and sync with this to uh, the original video file and uh, I can go now I have to go to the library module again and I can click on the, on that file I can click on play and now my video is retouched with uh, what I've done on a JPEG so it's a pretty uh, fun way to retouch videos in case you ever wondered how to retouch that I could have used 5d videos you know, not Nikon videos doesn't matter uh, and then you can uh, export the videos with uh, uh, you go to the library module and you can uh, and you click here on export and uh, yeah so you and the way you export is here uh, you have the video include video file so I'm only on the video file h264 is good quality max high medium low and um, and you can see source is uh, uh, 1920 by 1080 and uh, uh, the target will be the same and you can just click on export and now you have a video which has been retouched and exported so now let's say you want to do something else uh, let's say i want to reset this video as it was i can just well you have to take the gpace that goes along with it go back to the develop module click on reset and then reselect the original video and click on sync synchronize and then you're going to reset the video uh, as it is let's go back to the library module with, without any retouching. So voila guys, that is how you retouch videos using Lightroom. All right guys, I hope you like this little trick on uh, retouching videos in Lightroom. If you have any suggestion of tutorial you want me to do, please leave a comment on this video. Or in any case, please leave a comment in this video. Thank you very much. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.